first thing I'm doing as always is prime the eye area. So I've just squeezed a little of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus eyeshadow primer onto my finger and now I'm dabbing it onto the eye area. Once I have the area coated, I'm taking some of my face powder and I'm setting the primer in place. So just dusting it anywhere that I applied the primer. Next, I'm taking the Note Cosmetics Precision Eyeliner. I decided to try a new felt tip liner and step away from my Essence one because I always use it. And I'm just mapping out the outline of my winged liner, which I'll fill in later on after I've finished applying my shadows. And I just do this because then I have a point to blend my shadows in from. And leaving the outline as is stops my liner from fading when I'm blending my shadows. My palette of choice today is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eyeshadow Palette. I've done a couple of tutorials with this palette and if you've missed them I'll link them below but I hadn't used it in a long time so I decided to bust it out. So I'm beginning with this peachy eyeshadow and I'm using it as my transition colour. I've started at the tail of the wing and I'm just blending in across the crease and I'm doing this a couple of times to build up the intensity. You can go back in and reapply as many times as you feel you need to. Some people like to start out with a very small amount of product on their brush and then build up from there. Now I'm switching to a small bullet shaped brush and I'm adding that same peachy shadow down along the lower lash line. You can keep this as close or as far away from the lash line as you like. I always think about how many shadows I'll be applying down there so the more shadows I'm applying the more I'll smoke out the first shade so that it will be seen in the finished look. Next I'm going in with this ready brown and I'm starting by tapping it down on the outer third of the lid and then I'm fading the colour across into the crease. And this look isn't too red or too orange so I think it's a really nice look that helps you transition from summer into the autumn. Then once again I'm taking my small pencil brush and I'm blending that ready brown down along the lower lash line. Next up is this brown shadow and I'm taking it on a small tapered blending brush, starting again by tapping down on the outer third of the eye and then blending across into the crease. Now I'm adding this in the deepest part of my crease to create some depth which is why I switched to a tapered blending brush. The bristles taper off to a point making application more precise. I then wanted that ready brown to be seen on the lid so I'm reapplying that now with my blending brush and then I'm just sweeping the colour into the crease to help the two browns fade nicely into one another. The smaller the brush, the denser the bristles, the more intense the eyeshadow will appear so I'm using an angled brush to reapply that ready brown close to the lashes and as you can see it looks a lot more vibrant, it'll just help blue eyes to pop which is why I decided to add a little more. Then I'm adding the brown down along the lash line too and I got a bit of fallout so when that happens I take my face powder brush and just lightly dust away and I'm back to square one. Sticking with that little quad I'm taking this light beige shade and adding it onto the inner half of the lid just to brighten the look up a bit because I am going for a daytime look and if this looks too heavy for you for daytime you can alter it by skipping the liner or the lashes, tailor it to suit yourself. Now at this point I'd usually use my Essence Liquid Liner but I'm trying something new so I'm going back in with that Note one and I'm filling in the outline and I quite like it, I like the felt tip pen because it's long and thin so I can lay it flat against my lash line and line my eyes that way. It's nice and precise so I can get a fine point on the outer corner and it's a lot more black than I expected it to be. As I was applying the liner I accidentally swiped some product just under my eye so I'm taking some of my concealer and patting it over top of the mistake. The smudge isn't too apparent because the pen only lightly brushed off the skin. The thing with the pen is the more pressure you apply the darker the line appears so I got off pretty much scot free. Once I've coated the mistake with my concealer I like to then set the concealer in place with some powder and then I'm just running around the entire look with the powder and this will just help to further soften the edges of the eyeshadow without applying a lighter shade. I'm going for a brown pencil then today because it's softer for daytime and it'll complement all eye colours so I'm just running that around my waterline. For lashes then I'm taking the Kiss Blowout Lashes in the style Page Boy. They are nice and natural but like I said if you don't want to bust out a pair of false lashes for daytime whip out your mascara instead. I use the Kiss Black Glue most of the time so I don't really have to apply liner along the lash band like I would with white glue but I'm doing so anyway because it will tone down that shiny appearance that the glue leaves. 
Then all I have to do is to apply some mascara to my top and bottom lashes and then I'm golden. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found the tutorial helpful. If you did, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe for more videos and I'll chat to you all soon.